You can see right here that I'm holding the stabilizer and V is a durable stabilizer, 2000 watts. So guys, in today's quick and very simple video, I'll be showing you guys how to set a stabilizer and also tell you guys why you need to buy a stabilizer thread to protect the appliances in your house or apartment. Let's get in. So guys, now in case you haven't seen a stabilizer before, this is how it looks. And this very one, the brand is Duravold. Here's the name, Duravold. And this one contains 2000 watts capacity. You can see it, right? So there are different brands of stabilizers. You can check other brands too. But for this tutorial, I'll be using this one to show you guys how to set up and why you need to have a stabilizer in your apartment. Now we have different watts of stabilizer. We have 1000 watt. I think that one is the smallest, smallest, smallest. And we have 2000 watt, which is my own here, 2000 watt. Let me take you around so that you see it. The size is not as big. Look at this side here. And here's the back. So it comes with um, an adapter where you plug your appliances. Here's the cable. You use this one and connect to the wall socket or to the extension so that you can power the stabilizer. Then after that, you can use your AC or your fridge and plug here so that the voltage will not go straight or directly to your appliances. Okay. So you can see this drive was 2000 watts. You can see it right but in my house here i have 2000 watts and 5000 watts for my ac right there so this very one here i use for my hisense fridge which is 91 liters fridge you can see it right and i bought this for 50,000 naira brand new in abuja where i live so this is it so guys now let me see if you live in an area that has very low light voltage or the light is always um shaking it's not stable you need to buy a stabilizer or any regulator you can see this thing is called automatic voltage regulator so apart from stabilizer there are also other regulators whereby you can buy to protect your appliances but for me i think stabilizers are more reliable because i've been using them for a very long time look at right here we have right here here is the on off button is off it's on off you can see right here is the output voltage and right here is the input voltage you can see it right the level now to connect it i just take here right now it's off just take the head from here because the head is not too long to the extension and plug it right here but preferably plug it on the wall socket okay so you can see i've plugged it but it's not on because it's off now to on it just come here and just switch here you can see it's on you can see before it gets on this very light here that is called delaying blink for some seconds before the lights finally came on the stabilizer you can see it right now i want to explain to you the technology behind stabilizer and why we use stabilizer and how it drags the power from the main power to the stabilizer and to the appliance okay now now this is how my own setting is my own stabilizer setting is now let me explain one of these things one after the other you can see this light here this working so when this light is on means that the stabilizer is working perfectly you can see it right working this very first light here red working now you can see this very um light here that is not on this light here this one is an unusual light if the voltage is very low or very high and you see this light on then it means that the stabilizer is now protecting your appliances so there is the protection when this light is on means that the voltage is not good so it is good that you can just turn off the stabilizer or even if you didn't turn it off it means that the stabilizer has turned off the appliances and the whole voltage is not going to the appliances again directly now the whole voltage is going to the stabilizer understand so yes unusual while this very one is delaying so delay means that when you on a stabilizer it waits for like some seconds before it now powers or it brings light to the entire system so delay means that that period of delaying the stabilizer is trying to figure out the voltage so that it can stabilize the voltage before it brings light into the entire stabilizer system and to the appliances on the side right 
so it will have to delay a bit for like a few seconds so that it can um intrinsically <laughs> like examine the voltage whether it's shaking whether it's too powerful or like high voltage or lower voltage before it can be on and now it's stagnant understand but if the light is too powerful sometimes to be blinking all that so but for these very buttons here i don't know them much but ever since as i bought it the expert or my technician said that i should leave them like this i should not press them and on them so just leave them like this look at you can see i didn't press them if i press them you see that but i just left them the way my technician said i should leave it you know now i'm not an expert but i'm just trying to tell you guys how i use my stabilizer and how it protects my appliances so that you guys can also follow suit and do the same settings and it will also protect your own appliances okay now you can see it's on right here it's on now let's go back to the input and the output now what is input voltage right there is the input input voltage and you can see that the input voltage means that it is the power supply or the voltage that comes from the nepa like this is what nepa gives you can see it's not too high so now when you plug your stabilizer stabilizer will now drag the voltage and increase it so that it can be used on your appliances and this is the output voltage now the output voltage is the voltage whereby the stabilizer gives out maybe you guys don't understand okay let me come again now the input voltage here in stabilizer means the light or the voltage that nepa brings which is not too high you can see it right it's not high you can see right here just a bit above 100 yeah this 100 and it's just between 100 and 220 so here is the voltage that nepa brings so it means that with this voltage if i connect either my fridge or my ac directly on the nepa with that stabilizer means this voltage is not enough and sometimes it means that my fridge or ac will be going on and off on and off because this voltage is not enough and it's not powerful and also it's always um not stagnant it's always shaking understand so that's why we need stabilizer because stabilizer helps to draw and increase the voltage and make it stable so the output voltage now when the panel brings the input voltage which is between 100 and 200 input which is not enough to power your appliances so stabilizer now will now drag the voltage and increase the voltage you can see right here from the input voltage here stabilizer itself has dragged the voltage to 220 that would be sufficient for my appliances understand and it makes it stagnant so it means that even if you can see that if you check the input voltage very well you can see that it's not always stagnant it's shaking but once the plant now drags it to 220 it will make it stagnant so that your appliances will receive the voltage without shaking and that will protect your appliances you can see it right so that's how it is the input voltage and the output voltage the input voltage is the voltage that nepa or light brings which is not too high and it's always shaking so the output voltage is the voltage that stabilizer brings that after which you must have drawn and increased the voltage from the input voltage to now draw it and increase the voltage power to 220 so that it can be sufficient for your appliances and it will make it stagnant if i come right here see that sometimes this input voltage sometimes it will come 100 sometimes it will go a bit 100 sometimes it will go lower it's shaking so it means that if you plug your appliances directly without any stabilizer, your appliances are always at the risk of getting spoiled anytime because the light is directly shaking. It can spoil your fridge compressor. Same thing with AC. You can see it, right? So that's why I see why the output voltage, see right there is stagnant. This one will drag and bring enough voltage and make it stagnant. Now listen. Right now, the light in my area is very, very low, whereby it can't even pump the ball hole. It's very, very low. And see, you can see that if I didn't use stabilizer, my fridge wouldn't have been able to get cold. But with stabilizer, it helps to increase the voltage, makes it stagnant. If I go to my fridge, for instance, you see that all my food 
have frozen total. Everything is blocked with my stabilizer. You can see it, right? So with stabilizer, I'm always guaranteed that my appliances are in good condition. You see, you can't spend a lot of money buying things, appliances, and you don't buy stabilizer, especially if you live in areas whereby the voltage is very, very, very low and irregular. So you must buy a stabilizer, okay? So now, let me show you how you can connect stabilizer to your appliances. Let me take to my fridge. I will unplug it from here. I want to drag it to my fridge. So you can see, right? So now, yes, my stabilizer head. I'll plug it here. I'll plug it here on the socket. On it. You can see it's on. So I'll now bring the fridge. Just the fridge head. You understand? Just the fridge head. You can see. So instead of connecting the fridge head directly to the nepa. It is very dangerous to the fridge head. It can destroy my compressor. So I'll now bring the fridge head to the back of stabilizer and now plug it right here. Understand? So now my fridge is on. You can see it's on. So it means that the stabilizer collects the voltage from NEPA directly. So if any such in power, it will rather affect stabilizer, not my fridge. Understand? So guys, I just felt like every knowledge is very important. So I should make this video so that at least I will show you guys how to set stabilizer, how to use it, and why you must get a stabilizer if you live in areas whereby your light is very, very bad, is shaking and irregular. Okay? So guys, thanks for watching and bye.